Well, hey folks, my name is Brad, and today I find myself standing in the center of a stream up in the mountains of Vermont. And many don't know, in the 1800s, there was actually a little Vermont gold rush where millions of dollars worth of gold was found. And actually upstream of here, there was one of those mines in a mile long sluice box. Today I'm joined by my friend, Scott. Say hey, Scott. Of 802 Outdoor Adventures. If you're unfamiliar with his channel, go check it out. Today we are going to see if we can find a few pieces of gold that mile long sluice box may have missed, as well as beautiful garnets, the Vermont State Gemstone. We're gonna get the shovels and the pans and the metal detector out and see what we can find. how to do this. Oh, it's like bath water. No. <laughs> All right, let's check to see if there's any nuggets in here. Look at that. Garnet's right in the stone. That's pretty cool. All right, we're getting down to the end here. These garnets. Yeah, we got one, two, three, four, five, six pieces. I just came over to show Scott my six pieces. May I? Yeah. That's awesome. Are you kidding me? By golly, there's gold in here. Look at that piece of quartz full of holes. There you go. Yeah? No, no gold's falling out as I shake it. Lots of quartz. Quartz is good, right? Quartz is good. Quartz and garnets. Oh. oh. I don't think it's a monster, but I saw it flash at me right there. Might be able to pick that one up. Oh, this is a better pan. Hey, look at that. That's nice. Not too bad. That's a ho moment. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm getting some targets in this stone here. And you can see upstream be coming and going to all these cracks. So I think I can bust off a bunch of these pieces. We'll wash them, get as much of the sediment out as we can. Maybe there'll be some gold in here. All right, here we go. Take a look. Yeah. One, two, three, four. Not as nice as the one you just had, but not bad. Five pieces. Enough to suck up, I think. Put in my little bottle. Oh yeah, we're rich, we're rich. Almost. Uh, spur? Oh yeah. Well, I just, you know, did some metal detecting here. It's been in the river a while. Man, that thing is... That's interesting. It is interesting. It's been in the river a while. Haven't a clue. Turn my hands black. What'd you get, Scott? In the green pan. Wow. You can pick that right up. We'll pick up. 
Makes a nice little sound when you drop it. Good for you. I better stick with Panda. <laughs> watched a couple YouTube videos. There's this really good channel called uh, 802 Outdoor Adventures. I'll tell you everything you need to know. Well, I haven't finished this pan yet. Scott just said he found the best one of the day, best pan of the day. Yeah, look at that. Can't even count them, there's so many. Yeah. Hey, that's pretty darn good. Well, it's hard to see because the water's oh so silty. But we were digging down here and we kind of hit bedrock and can't really Yeah, we can't really get any deeper. But over here, there's a whole bunch of really thick goopy clay. This stuff. And uh, from a couple little pans I just did, it seems like the punch of gold in it. So let's give it a shot. We're gonna break apart all this clay over the pan. Just wait, giant nugget right in my hand. Got a good feeling. Full of garments. Look at all these garnets. Holy smokes. Wow. Garnets galore. Look at all this. These are all garnet. Look at that one. Holy smokes. Well, I dare say this may be the best pan I've ever had. Granted, I haven't had a lot of pans, period, but this is looking pretty good. Big old line of yeller, ooh. That's like uh, all of the gold I'd ever found until I met you, Scott. <laughs> <laughs> That it's pink. <laughs> it's a dollar store pump blaster. Pump blaster. It had a tip on it. Was yeah. It, you know, like for the kids. Yeah, yeah. It's kind of a handy little thing. Sure. Sucks the tip off and siphon some sediment out of the cracks and stuff, huh? Yeah, I didn't bring a real one, and this thing works just as good. Cool. Pulled out this rock. Look at that, all these little crystallized garnets just embedded in there. So cool. Vermont State Gemstone. Well, let's see. Not bad. How much money do you think that is? 30 cents. <laughs> <laughs> Good stuff. Vermont gold. We could round it up to a dollar, I don't know. Yeah, we'll say it's a dollar. Okay. But you never know, there could be a baseball sized chunk in the next pan. That would be nice. <laughs> that would be really nice. All right, well the day is winding down. We just found a hot spot with all that clay and the gold embedded in it with the garnets and all that stuff. I'm gonna do one more pan and then we're gonna 
do a little tally here at the end and see what we found and get out of the river. The deer flies are starting to bite. <laughs> it's driving us nuts. I'm gonna get a bunch of shovels in my pan, see what we can find. Look at this thick stuff. Full of garnets and gold. All right, we got any gold this time? Let's see. Maybe. See some? See it? Yeah, that's a decent piece. Piece is. Where was your BB? Is that a BB? Lead BB? Looks like it, yeah. Not bad. Nice. You got the touch on that thing. Getting that gold nice and clean. Not losing a piece. Biggest piece of the day in the last pan. Makes you want to stay all night. Yeah. <laughs> you can. I'm leaving. <laughs> Not bad for a last pan, I'd say. Most people don't even know there's gold in Vermont, let alone find any. All right, good last pan. I found the largest piece I found all day in it. It does make me want to spend more time, but it's the end of the day. We gotta pack up and go. We have both pans out here with what we found in them. Let's take a look. Here we have Scott's pile. These are like three times bigger than any of the biggest ones I found. Good for you. What's your secret? Luck. <laughs> Luck. <laughs> and then right next door I have mine. I would say roughly the same as Scott, but his is bigger and he didn't suck up all the little small pieces like I did. But I am more than happy with that. And I almost forgot an entire gelato container full of garnets and stones with garnets embedded. And this crazy thing I found with my metal detector, we're gonna say it's a spur. I don't know what else it would be. It's pretty wild and old. Let me know what you think. Unfortunately, we didn't find a million dollars worth of gold today. Maybe next time. You never know with treasure hunting. Thanks again, Scott, for having me out. Brad, I'm happy you came out with me today. Please check out Scott's YouTube channel. And if this is one of my first videos you've seen, I post one of these every Friday. So if you like what you saw today, consider subscribing or just come on back next week. Hopefully, I'll see you then. Mm -hmm.